What's up guys, Match Believer here today, to, and I have got a Dark Magician versus Sword Soul uh, video for you guys. I've only got the one video, so it is only a one duel. It isn't a best of three, it's just a best of one. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it, guys. I'm going to load the replay. Alright, so I'm at the bottom, and his hand consists of Ash Blossom, Droll, and Lockbird. That is the worst combo you could give this man against my dark magician deck he has a sword soul of moye he has an arch nemesis protos and he has pot of desires i also have two eternal souls a summon limit a dark magician and a magicalized fusion so you can kind of guess i'm b -b -b bricked so let's go ahead and see what happens So I go first and I set four pass. I can really only truly activate two of these cards. Technically three because two of them are Eternal Soul. I set the Summon Limit first and then I set an Eternal Soul and then I set Magicalized Fusion and the Eternal Soul to kind of hide that Summon Limit just to, you know, if he were to try to target and destroy one of them and if it's the first card I set, I'm bad, bad, bad. Um, also guys, uh, just to mention about Sword Soul, the Sword Soul uh, Moye summons a water token, so uh, Gozen Match does not stop that. But the fun thing about it is the Sword Soul of uh, Taeyi or something like that, the, the, the one that's a fire type, it summons a water token. So if you've got Gozen Match on field and they summon the fire type, then they can't summon the token because it's a water type. So Gozen Match is really good against this deck. Uh, also, Summon Limit is really good against this deck. <laughs> so they'll summon the token and they still can't do nothing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let it play. Alright, Pot of Desires. Really loving that Pot of Desires because you banish 10 face down permanently. Oh, if you keep them face down, ooh, I'm going to get number 89. I'm going to banish one from your extra deck, possibly one from your grave, and currently you'll you'll at least have 11 if I don't get the one from the grave, and then I'll banish 11 right off the top of your uh, regular deck. So I just banished half your deck, thanks to you. Uh, but no, sadly I did not get number 89. So he summons the second one. I go summon limit, so that's his second summon for the turn. So he can't do any more summons. So he attacks. I go Eternal Soul. I do Dark Magician. All right. And that's when he surrendered. Because he's like, oh, I can't summon more than twice. Literally, his uh, his um, Sword Soul cards summon themselves as one summon. And then summons a token as turn second summon. So I've got complete control until he gets a card that destroys my back row. So... This is how I got a Sword Soul player to completely surrender, and he didn't even play the rest of the match with me. Or at least I don't remember if he did or not. He might have, um, but, you know, I, did, I didn't save it, so if he did, I didn't, I didn't save any of the replays uh, for some reason. I may have won, I may have lost. If I won, I probably would have saved it. If I didn't, you know, blah, blah, blah. But... <laughs> Anyways, um, I will be uploading uh, a video. This is like the last video I'm recording. I've been recording all these videos that you've been seeing me upload, like all at the same time, probably two a day or something like that. Um, but anyways, um, without further ado, yes, guys, that is Dark Magician versus Sword Soul. Nah, that 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 really wasn't like that was me shutting his down his deck down for sure. But that was not Dark Magician versus Sword Soul. That was a guy who was playing it and just did not, it was not okay with going against the hard stuff. The stuff that's hard to deal with, like Summon Limit. He wasn't okay with it. So he just surrendered and he quit. Because, you know, that's what most players do. Because if you can't handle the hard stuff, you generally quit because you don't want to deal with it. If guys, if you don't want to deal with it, maybe you shouldn't be playing against people that play like that. Maybe you should go back to uh, third grade. That way it's simple for you. Summon a normal monster. Attack directly. But no, guys. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, that, I, I was just joking, by the way. 
Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, also, I wanted to make sure to mention guys that for sure, for sure, um, definitely check out the description uh, to join our Discord group chat called Team DMA. Pronounced Team Dima stands for Team Dark Magic Attack. We are a Dark Magician group chat on Discord, and we want to invite each and every one of you that is a Dark Magician player, enjoys Dark Magician, loves Dark Magician, plays it Dark Magician, uh, or even just, you know, likes talking about it, or the people that play it competitively, for sure, for sure. So we want to invite you to join our group chat on Discord for Team Dima. So... Also, wanted to make sure you guys definitely check out the description down below for sure, for sure. I have a link uh, in the description to Team Dima, so definitely check that out. Also, guys, don't forget to turn on the notification bell because you absolutely do not want to miss the live box break of Brothers of Legend, guys. Because we could pull the Starlight Rare, Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon. Also, we may pull number 89, more than likely, uh, and that card is definitely worth at least $500 to $900, maybe $1,000, because currently its only other copy is a prize card, which is between two to $10,000 per copy. So even if it gets massively reprinted, that card is still going to be super dumb expensive. Like it's pre-selling right now for like $30. That's extremely cheap. You should pick it up on pre-sale right now before it goes up, up, up in price, guys. So, anyways, uh, without further ado, guys, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to sub. And just kidding.